The Flash. Reaction. Hit it! No idea where Sakira could be hiding. Can't we just track him by the dark energy in his dagger? Unless he decides to make an appearance, we've got zilch. Where's baby giraffe and young Nora? Ralph's visiting his mom. He said to call if we need him. And Nora is Shh. right here. I just stopped by the loft to pick up your blue suit. And Nora is. Shh. Right here. I just stopped by the loft to pick up your blue suit. I figured you'd had enough of green. Hey, I made that green suit work, though. <laughs> hey, I made that green suit work, though. <laughs> the bad news is that means Dwyer won't be visiting her again anytime soon. And then the worst news is... You ready to get those shards out of your hands? Hell yes. I haven't been able to play PS4 properly for weeks. See you in there. Gotcha. Your hands are officially dagger shard free. Hallelujah. One more thing. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Mm. Meta sutures for meta wounds. It's clever. Ah, note to self. Ice healing actually hurts. Don't be a wuss. Looks like you've got this whole Caitlyn Killer Frost thing down pat. Mm, not totally. I got it. But it is getting easier to switch to Killer Frost when I need to. I've actually really enjoyed not having my powers lately. Really? Yeah. I got used to being Cisco again, sans vibage, you know? Well, if we're gonna defeat Cicada, we need a fully functioning vibe. So, hopefully this does the trick. Here, souvenirs. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Dad! What's happening? I can't stop vibrating. Guys, guys, we need your help. I can't stop facing. What are we gonna do? Let, Let him. him. What? Yes, if you phase through the floor, you're actually gonna fall into the pipeline cell directly below us. And the damaging unit will negate your powers. Ready? Three, two, one, go! So, the car you touched was saturated with unstable dark matter. And because you were phasing at the time, it caused your body to destabilize on a cellular level. Get a load of this. You know those shards you removed? I ran a biochemical analysis on them and the tissue from my hands. You know how to do that? I picked up a thing or two from Caitlin Snow MD over the years, and I found this. Almost all the dark matter is gone. The shards weren't dampening my powers. They were removing them. So the dagger has anti-dark matter properties. Yes! Cisco, if we could synthesize that into a serum, we could get rid of Cicada's powers entirely. And not just his powers, everyone's. Everyone's? Caitlin, we could make a metahuman cure. Oh, hell no! <laughs> you think we need a metahuman cure? Don't you? Um... <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> maybe not, but I seem to remember a time when you did. Uh, 
Sure, when I first discovered Killer Frost, I wanted to get rid of her, but when she was gone, it felt like a piece of me was missing. Besides, we've seen metahuman powers do really good things. Okay. Hey, yeah, if you can build an ice bridge to avoid rush hour traffic, but... This cure could give metahumans a second chance at having a normal life. Maybe not everyone wants a normal life, Cisco. Guys, any way you could send out some food? I now know all the dietary habits of our metahuman inmates. Did you know that the weather wizard orders Thai food every day, and that Peekaboo loves enchiladas, and Deathbolt is vegan? I did not know that. At least nothing else is blowing up right now. <laughs> Anyway, you could send out some food. Thank you. Well, yeah. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Oops. Why did you do that? You're smart. You can figure it out. When are you going to figure out that a Medicare could actually help people? Listen, I heard all about it, short stuff. But you know what? Katie and I, we're doing just fine. And so were you until Cicada got all up in your head. I want a wife to grow old with. I want a kid. And I don't want them to wonder all the time if their dad is in trouble, if he's even going to make it home tonight. Cisco, you don't have to choose between having powers and having a family. Man, well, some of us do. I want to be me. Like, sure is the only way. Supposedly, it's untrackable, so how do we find it? We don't search for the car. If Joss made lightning strike again, it means she has her staff. Oh, so we can track the dark matter in it. Nice. I got the location. Okay, remember. Nora, whatever you do, don't touch the car while using your powers. Hey, Caitlin, can I steal you for a second? See no evil. We're invisible. I don't see anything. Come on! Oh! God damn it! Nora, look. 
Look out! How the hell did I lose control? Well, at least we got their wheels. What's left of them? Thanks for the last minute rescue. For the what? Icing up the road. I didn't ice the road. What? No. Bullshit. 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 Okay. Time! 24 hours are up. Okay, I double-checked with Caitlin and there doesn't seem to be... I double-checked with Caitlin. I double-checked with Caitlin. I double-checked with Caitlin. Okay, well, we can't both be the basket case. We're all pretty bizarre. Some of us are just better at hiding it. Come on, Breakfast Club? It's one of the only movies Killer Frost and I actually agree on. Let me guess, she's into Bender? Totally, she loves him. Yeah, makes sense. I'd ship that. Some of us are just better at hiding it. Killer Frost and I actually agree on. Let me guess, she's into Barry? Totally, she loves him. Yeah, makes sense. I'd ship that. <laughs> Put that on. It's cold where we're going. Why did you bring me here? Because despite our last encounter with him, he did create a metagene. So I was thinking that you could use his research to do the reverse. Make a metahuman cure. A second chance at a normal life. No friend would stand in the way of that. We will never, ever force a cure on anyone. I want to believe that there is good inside of you somewhere, Thon. Let me prove there is. Okay. We can make a metahuman cure. You think we need a metahuman cure? Don't you? Okay. <clears throat> Maybe not. Give up being the Flash. How many times does it have to be you? We've seen metahuman powers do really good things. Okay. People need the Flash. Not everyone wants a normal life, Cisco. I didn't have my speed for very long. When I first discovered Killer Frost, I wanted to get rid of her. But now that it's gone... But when she was gone... It feels like part of me is gone, too. It felt like a piece of me was missing. I love being the Flash. Even though I can live without Killer Frost, I don't think I want to. I love everything about it. <laughs> I don't choose being the Flash over being with my family. Cisco, you don't have to choose between having powers and having a family. I'm the Flash for my family. After everything that you've seen, don't you think that bad people stay bad? Not always. When I first met Leonard Snart, he was a criminal. Snart's a criminal. We worked with him. I knew that there was a good person in there somewhere, and look at him. Turned out to be a legend. He's a bad guy. What if he's changed? People don't change. I did. When I became Killer Frost, you still believed in me. You're a good person. Maybe Caitlin was right. Maybe he deserves a second chance. If he can change, anyone can. What about Eobard Thawne? I think... Thawne, Solomon, we see the good in people. That's just who we are. I hope that never changes. Part of being a hero is being able to see the good in people. So yeah, even Thawne, could change. A second chance at a normal life. If we don't believe in people, we will. <laughs>